Hey, hey, what's going on, everyone? AC the Consular coming to you live for a little more Final Fantasy VII. In the last episode, we saw Sector Seven get destroyed, Eris was kidnapped, but we learned that Marley's safe. So what we're going to go ahead and do is talk to Eris's mama. Oh, she already knew we were coming, didn't she? Wow. Oh, giving her the bad news about Eris. Uh, I wow, Shinra came all the way here? Freaking Turks did what they wanted to by coming there? Man, yeah, what, what's, her, what's her story? Why are they after her so much? She's an ancient, the sole survivor. Yeah, aren't you her mom? Oh, okay. So you're, so you're her mom, just not her biological mom. I understand. Okay, so you're waiting for your husband to come back from some military duty, I believe it was. Coming from Wu Tai. Wu Tai. Man, I, I love this name of that place. Like the Wu Tang Clan, but we got the Wu Tai Clan. Now, oh, we got some lovey dovey stuff going on on the pole down there. If you're up on the pole, let them make you a home. Kind of does. Woo! Oh man, that's bright lights in that train. I mean, it's probably the night train, so you could see it night. But I don't know, maybe it's been <laughs> this guy swinging this girl around, just so happy to see her. Look at this, look at this guy. Chunk of sword, all happy to see his girl. He's ready. He's ready. Whee! <laughs> that's like, oh, she's gotta be so exhausted after picking that guy up. All right, she's just waiting for, for her husband to come back, but... Oh, there was no one else on board. She's ask, asking our favorite conductor dude or our favorite uh, station guy. It's like, where, where is he? Oh, guess he wasn't coming home just yet. Hmm. Oh, he never came back. I wonder if something happened to him. Yeah, his leave was just canceled. She went to the station every day, then one day... could be happening on this day. Oh, that looks like... That looks a lot like Eris. Just like knocked down on the stairs there. And this little girl there. Huh. Oh, that must be... That must be Eris's mom. Her biological mom, and that must be Eris. The little itty bitty Eris. Oh, no. Mama Eris is all just beaten up and stuff. Oh, shoot. Please take Eris somewhere safe. Yeah, if your husband doesn't come back and you, you don't want to see the kid out on the street like that, shoot, so... You know, you're, you're doing a good thing there. Elmira right there, trying to trying to protect her. So you raised her as your own. Skip some research lab. And then the mother returned to the planet. Hmm. Oh, okay, that's, that's interesting. Turn, yeah, what, what exactly was returned to the planet? It was this planet. She was, yeah, so do you think it'd be like going to heaven or something? But no, she's returned to the planet. Okay. Oh, well, Eris growing up so quickly. Please don't cry. Well, yeah, what are you talking about? Don't cry. Oh, dear, just died. Hmm. Yeah, well, yeah, what are you talking about? Oh, no. So she finally did get a notice that the husband died. Oh. Brutal. Because it seemed like every day just waiting there at the tracks, all is going to be good. Oh, same. Go on, Eris back. No way, fool. Some special blood. Yeah, he might be ancient. It might be an ancient mall, but that doesn't mean you're going to be doing any testing on, on her like that. The land of supreme happiness. What are you talking about? See, she wants to just be, you know, just wants to be a regular human and not worry about hearing the voices of the planet and all the screams and cries it has. Oh, that's too much. I knew it! I knew about those powers! That's, that's crazy. All those, yeah, all those years of able, available, uh, available, able to avoid the Shinra. She brought a little girl with her. That must have been... Yeah, that must have been Marlene. So yeah, for the safety of the child, you know, she sacrificed herself. Man. I'm sorry. Marlene's my daughter. Uh, really, sorry. 
Yeah, exactly. Oh, they're getting the parenting lecture from uh, from Elmira like that. Doing it for the sake of the planet, huh? This one. Just want to be with my little girl. Oh. She's just napping upstairs. That's awesome. No, I'm glad to see my lady say. That's, that's a lot to take in. Yeah, but it's not your fault, Tifa. You know, we, she decided to join in on the action. She wouldn't hear about going, going home or anything. Oh, look at how happy he is. Such a... <laughs> don't cry, daddy. You always get No, such a sweet daddy. You gonna go ahead up there? I'm going with you. You take care of that shit, my fool. Well, what? What was she asking me? I bet she likes the club. No, I don't know. Stupid. You know, we got a bed right here and got some, got some good memories like before. Well, let's go catch ourselves a little nap here in the bed here, hmm? All right. We're well rested, ready to rock and roll. Let's head back down and see what happens. All right. So. We're gonna run out and keep us just standing there. Keep us coming with us, alright. Gonna head to the Shinra headquarters. No, we know where we we gotta be expecting some bad stuff to be going down here. I appreciate that, Keith. I'm gonna join in no matter what. I just don't wanna go so crazy. Oh man, that's look at that bear getting lecture about leaving the kid behind. It's like, I know. By the way, can I leave my kid behind again? He's, you know, he's got all the right intentions. He wants to go and save Eris for all the good things she's done. Helping Marlene like that. Oh. So we gotta figure out a way to get to that Shinra building. Yeah, there's no, no nap train. Hmm. Well, okay, we'll go visit our pimping out friends at Wall Market. You know, it's, I haven't been able to fully experience Wall Market full on as a dude or you know just in the back of my mind i'm gonna have to dress up like a chick yet so you know let, let, let's go ahead and give him a visit shall we all right know where we gotta run through again check the material out here uh i think yeah no we're good we're good that's right going through the gauntlet again jam right there i see they try and screw you, up, screw you up with that, uh, with that, what is it, like a forklift or a, a crane of some sorts, because you can, you can go inside of it, you can't do anything with it, but, you know, you run in there thinking, oh, this is the pathway up, but it's like, no, that's not the way up. And I know some of you guys are probably watching that and me calling it a crane, you're like, oh, mm, AC, that's more of a, that's a digger or something, I don't know what the hell it's called. And you're like, you're so stupid, how do you not know what that piece of machinery is? Again, I told you, those kind of things, never interested in, don't care, don't want to know about them. It's just, hey, there's some equipment there. Sweet! So, so, <laughs> so that's my bit. I, I don't know, it's just the one I know you can use to, like, dig a lot of earth up and scoop things with it, so. So they call it the, the scooper machine, why not? Pooper scooper? Oh man, you can pick up a lot of shit with that. Mm. Like, like some serious elephant turds all piled up. All right, let's see, look at that 2,000 deal, guys. Oh man, we're, we're just rolling in the dough right now. Leveling up here and there. You know, I think we're in pretty good shape. So let's just keep running on ahead, run through the, through the beaten up playground now. It's kind of funny, or kind of sad to think about it, because it wasn't too long ago when we had Eris in the party when we were first heading to Wall Market. And she's checking out, she's like, it's all here, it's all still here. Just so excited to see the playground was still in, you know, tip-top shape. And then you run into it now, it's like, well, yeah, the slide and all that is still there. But nothing nothing else is there that really is that good. Okay, nothing new at the Materia store. So, whatever, guy, we don't need anything from you. So, let's just keep running along here. Uh, where, where do we want to go to next? I want to stop at the inn, you know, heal up real quick. Yeah, might as well. Yeah, especially for 10 gil a night. Shoot, you know, we're saving some big books staying here. You know, we could we could always go back and stay at Elmira's place, but again, we'd have to run through 
through the jungle, the concrete jungle, and have to deal with that nonsense. So we wouldn't be able to, uh, we'd, be, we'd, be, we'd at least get into one, maybe two other fights, I don't know. But, um, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and just keep running along here. Run up here to the machinery, but oh, guns, guns, guns. Talk to this guy, he was a jerk earlier. Now we're going to the... So, you know where we're heading, but we need some batteries. Yeah, why do we need batteries to go up there? 100 gil for each. I think we get three of them, so... Okay, so that's 300 gil. And man, they're, they're just taking all our monies real quick. Damn, these guys. Oh yeah, there's some... Oh, oh, here we go. We can give Tifa a new weapon there. Sweet. Everyone else, equipment-wise, is good to go. So let's just go ahead and give Tifa that new equipment. A little bit of an upgrade from 13 to 18, and then we got some more. Now we got some extra materia slots, so if we end up running into some more uh, materia or anything like that. We can get that going. Oh, show! Oh, 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 oh no, I, I want to go visit my buddy Corneo. Little Don Corneo here. Let's see what he's up to. Let's check out this side room real quick. This is the room you would end up in if uh, Cloud wasn't chosen, and what you'd see is a bunch of Don Corneo's lackeys like chasing you around, wanting to give you smooches. They run around like it's pretty funny. Walk around like zombies, hands out, lips out, like mm -hmm, give me some of that sweet, sweet Cloud loving. Oh, what happened down here? Oh, this Scotch. That's a, that's one of the one of the guys that was back there with uh, with Corneo in the room when we first met him. Oh man. Oh, they took they took the dog. Oh man, that's crazy. Oh man, that, okay, so we get found out what happened. So Shinra came in and they're taking care of business and they kidnapped the dog. Oh man, this is that's terrible news. I mean, the dog was a jackass and all, but I think they're just straight up scooping him up like that, and we don't know what happened to him there. Sheesh. Oh well, we'll probably never see him again. <laughs> oh. oh. Well, anyways, let's talk to this guy right here. What's going on, kid? Everyone's climbed up this wire. I'm looking scared. Can we climb it? Leads to the upper world. Oh, okay, so we know now. We know how we're going to be getting up there now. Sweet. Looks like a wire. Nah, fool. Looks like a shiny wire of hope. Look at, look at Bear with his positive attitude, his can do spirit. I, I like that, you know. It's the only way to save Earth bad analogy. Come on, he, you know, he's got, he's doing pretty good. I, I appreciate him for that. Alright, so, we could go ahead and climb it, but it's gonna, there's gonna be a lot of stuff going on in the next episode, so I think we should go ahead and call it an episode. Let me just run all the way back down here to where that save point was. Before, uh, yeah, it's kind of crazy it all happened. So let's end the episode here. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode. Like always, please leave a like, comment, and if you haven't done so already, subscribe to this channel. Also, go ahead and hit that share button. Share with your posse. So this is the Consular signing off, and I will see ya.